Parents with nanny cams. What have you caught your babysitter doing? I house slash dog sit for friends of my parents. The first time I did it, they mentioned they had a security camera by the front door that was motion activated, and I didn't really think anything of it. They were gone a few weeks, they come home, their two giant huskies are happy, I get paid, and all was well. A couple weeks later, my mom calls me laughing and laughing. My parents had dinner with the friends I dog sit for, and they showed a video to my parents from the front door cam. Apparently, all it showed was me sprinting full speed down the hallway, a dog toy in hand, biggest stupid grin on my face, followed by the two huskies running and sliding after me, followed by me, followed by the huskies, over and over and over again. I sit for them as often as I can. We now have a Discord. Check out the server in the link in the description. Story 2. Watched her outside playing with my dogs. She was dog sitting. Our yellow Labrador and golden retriever puppy started munching the blueberries right off of our blueberry bushes. They know damn well they're not supposed to get into the blueberry patch. We watched our dog sitter run over to them and try to get them to stop. She then ran inside and ran back out with a bowl. She proceeded to race the dogs for the blueberries. Had to be one of the highlights of our trips. We came home to a bowl of blueberries in the fridge and two very guilty pups. I was so confused at first. I thought absolutely that OP meant that the dog sitter was just trying to eat the blueberries faster than the dogs. No, 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 they were saving the blueberries. It's good to know. Story 3. My story isn't that interesting, but I have a camera to check in on my rabbit when I'm not there. The biggest surprise was mostly just how almost nobody followed my pet sitting instructions. The one exception, ironically, was my brother, who claimed to hate the rabbit and always wanted to get rid of it. I got an alert one day that my camera had detected movement, while my bro was there taking care of him and I decided to take a peek. I opened the app connected to the camera and saw my bro walk into the room, lay on the floor, and start playing with my rabbit. It just warmed my heart. Story 4. We have cameras outside of our house. One day, my neighbor told me that he saw my bunnies roaming the street a few times. I didn't believe him, so I took a look. One time at work, I looked at the cameras and saw the gate slightly open. So I rewound the footage. I go to work super early, so I watched as my wife fed them, then got ready for work. The bunnies peeked around the side of the house and waited to see my wife's car leave. Then, they pushed on the gate hard enough for the latch to set free, and then they left one by one. Later, before I got back home from work, they would make their way back and close the frickin' gate. Smart little bastards. I never knew the gate latch was so weak, so I fixed that problem. Story 5. I dog sit for some neighbors, one of which told me she has a camera in the living room slash dining room for her dogs. You know, one of those that dispenses treats? Anyway, I thought it was a strange essential oil diffuser until she told me what it was. I was being paid to play with them for an hour, but she found out that I was actually staying for two or three. When she asked me about it, I think I said something like, I would want someone to do the same for my dog. Ever since then, she leaves me treats in the kitchen and even got me a Christmas present from the dogs. Story 6. Not me, but my aunt's friend set up a nanny cam because she noticed that every time she changed her child's diaper, the child would start crying a lot more than usual. Turns out when they watched the nanny change her diaper, she would use Clorox wipes if they were nearby instead of grabbing the baby wipes. There's a wipe that's too harsh for that purpose, and then there's Clorox. Oh no. That poor baby. Story 7. I got a nanny cam to keep an eye out for my elderly grandfather especially when the homemades were there. My grandfather started asking for lots of cash and couldn't remember what was happening to it. A brooch that my aunt was supposed to get disappeared. And then I heard reports of my grandfather being inappropriate with some of the home health aides. He got busted squirreling away his medication that he was supposed to be taking in his chair, giving money to an aide, and harassing another. Story 8. We didn't have a nanny cam, but my mom set up the camcorder when she suspected our babysitter was stealing, and then caught the babysitter stealing. She returned most of the stuff when my mom threatened to report her to the police. I think she should have still reported her anyway. Now she probably just went on stealing at other people's places. Story 9. My family bought one to see our dogs when we leave on vacation twice a year. It's one where they can hear us and we thought it would be great. We hardly used it. We also asked our maid to dog sit for us while we were out. Once when we looked at the feed, we saw the dog sitter there a solid 30 minutes early just petting the dogs and playing with them. She has since retired from working, but she was the sweetest old lady and we love her. Another time, my dad left a wad of cash on top of the washing machine, about $600, and she put a rubber band around it with a note saying he misplaced it. You can just tell that OP's family is the kind of family to treat people that help around the house really well. They understand they're being provided a service, and they aren't above them, which honestly is something that I notice as an issue with a lot of families with maids and stuff. Bonus points if they call them the help. Story 10. 
My uncle told me this once when a babysitter was holding his daughter, my older cousin, when she was a baby. The baby was playing with her toys and she somehow swallowed a small piece of something, and the babysitter performed the Heimlich but for babies. There's a version of that for babies, I don't know where I found it though. She saved my cousin and her family was thankful. They have no idea where the babysitter is right now, but she's supposedly around her late 40s. Story 11 I've been a pretty regular weekend nanny for an amazing family for four years now. They've cycled through a couple of different weekday nannies since I've been with them. There is only one monitor and it's in the little dude's room. Once, the mom showed me on the camera why they let one go. Little dude said, Mommy said I don't have to do that. And the nanny snapped back, Well, it doesn't matter, mommy's a female dog. And then grabbed the kid out of his room by his shirt. Yeah, super fired. Story 12. We have a security camera in my bedroom for my free roam bunny, so we can keep an eye on her whilst at work. If we go on holiday too, or whatever. Well, my dad is 50 and is a big bloke who acts like he doesn't like pets. He came over to visit one day whilst I was out. He went in my room and crouched down calling the bunny. He spent an hour trying to pet the rabbit and kept repeating in a soft voice, I'm not going to hurt you, I just want to pet you and see how fluffy you are. He just about crapped himself when I spoke through the security camera to tell him she's very fluffy. Story 13. A little late to the party, but here goes. My mom suspected our maid of stealing the silverware, and she's just freaking nosy. Anyway, the maid was indeed stealing the silverware. I think that ended up being overshadowed by my dad banging her, though. Story 14. This isn't something that I caught a babysitter doing, but I remember that I once saw on TV the case of some parents that went with her baby to the doctor because she cried a lot for apparently no reason. The doctor told them that she looked really stressed and asked them if they were doing something that could make her act like that. They didn't. Then the doctor and the parents noticed some really tiny dots on the girl's belly, and they had no idea where they came from. The babysitter told them that she had no idea, but they didn't believe her, and secretly put cameras up to spy on what she was doing. Turns out she was crazy. She was stabbing the baby with a needle from time to time, and doing things like shaking her cradle incredibly hard to torment her. Of course, they called the police, confronted her, and she got arrested. I cannot believe people like this exist in the world. What would- what's- what's the motivation here? Oh, uh, OP, I'm so sorry for your child, and child, I am so sorry. You are gonna have trauma, and you're not gonna know why. Story 15. I was the one caught on camera a few times. 1. A family who had bunnies caught me on camera booping noses to the beat of the song I was singing. 2. A different family saw me get frickin' tackled by their 95-pound Mastiff puppy, and they immediately called me to make sure I didn't have a concussion since I just kinda laid there for a while. I was fine, I just got the wind knocked out of me. 3. Yet another different family saw me reading a book to their kids and later complimented all the voices I made. I had no idea they could hear audio, and I got so embarrassed since I really did go all out. Story 16. I travel the US for work, and am fortunate enough to be able to bring my two beagles with me. They have never been away from my side longer than the time I've been at work. They are 10 and 13. I have a camera that I use to check in on them sometimes, mostly because my larger beagle is quite the ingenious guy. Opening doors, scooting chairs over places so he can jump onto counters, etc. Last year I was in Oregon and had to go home to Michigan for an emergency. I do not fly with them, I only drive. So I was in a pickle, and reluctantly hired someone off of Rover that was willing to come stay over at my hotel room for three days. She was great. Kept up on texting me about the dogs, said things like tossing them a ball right now, so I would check in via the cam when I thought it was appropriate. This woman was amazing. Not only was she playing with them enough to make them exhausted, she was even teaching them new tricks, making them use their brains to solve puzzles, and even got my 42-pound beagle to get up on her back so she could do push-ups. I was extremely happy. This is the kind of person you always hope you're gonna get when you look for someone like this. This is the dream, the ideal, OP, struck gold. Although, admittedly, people on an app like... or app? Website? Rover? I don't know which it is. But whatever, the people on Rover are probably typically pretty good. Story 17. The family I nanny for told me that their previous nanny got caught doing loads of awful things. The couple that outraged me the most were, one, leaving their three-year-old daughter in the tub with water up to her chest for two hours every day while she sat in another room unable to see said child, and two, once, she went to run an errand with the same kid, and their doorbell camera caught her putting kid in car seat, not buckling her, and peeling off. The mom said you could see the toddler trying to buckle herself in before they took off. Why do people like this even become nannies? I don't get it. This person sounds awful, like they don't even like kids. They must not. Crazy. Story 18. My grandpa was staying with my parents, but they figured it best to hire the regular sitter to watch my younger siblings overnight since they didn't think my grandpa was up to the task. And they were attending a wedding a couple of hours away and made plans to spend the night in a hotel nearby. 
They had set up a nanny cam in a few rooms. My sibling's bedroom, the master bedroom, living room, and kitchen, all motion activated. They normally wouldn't bother looking through the footage if everything seemed fine upon returning home, and their master bedroom cam had never been triggered before. When they returned, they noticed that the cam in the master bedroom had been triggered, so they decided to take a look. Cut to footage of my grandpa and the sitter both naked, aggressively making out from the entrance of the room, staggering while intertwined towards the bed, and then about 20 minutes of banging on my parents' bed. The sitter was about 20 years old and my grandpa was about 70. My dad called me immediately after he saw the footage, laughing his butt off. And I could hear my mom crying in the background completely mortified from what she had just witnessed, and shouting at my dad to throw out the sheets and kick out grandpa. My mom called the sitter to confront her and she just apologized and said that there was a connection or something. When she asked my grandpa what he was thinking, he just said, At my age, you must seize every opportunity. I wish there was audio for the build-up. I lay awake at night sometimes just wondering what kind of game my grandpa was talking to get into that sitter's pants. That's honestly kind of impressive, but I think OP left out some important information. Grandpa on dad's side or mom's side? Because I need to know if their reactions made sense. Story 19. I was the child, and there weren't any nanny cams, but my parents had left a small bucket of toys and things to keep me busy, and they hired a babysitter to watch me while they both had to take overtime at work, and knew they would be gone most of the day. The babysitter moved that bucket of toys to another room, put me in a crib, and proceeded to go off and read something, and left me there for hours with nothing to do, only coming back to check on me or feed me. My parents came back to me just sadly sitting in my crib. Story 20. When I was around 12 years old, my parents caught my babysitter on camera, stealing my NES games and shoving them into her pants and shirt. They confronted her about it and she kept denying it, until Ninja Gaiden fell out of her pant leg. My mom took her into a room and made her take out all of the games she stole. She literally had games shoved under the strap of her bra on her back so that she could sneak them out of the house, and others were put inside of the waistband of her underwear. She must have really thought about this for a while. Anyway, we got the games back and she was sent home without pay. She must have been wearing some bulky clothing. Cause I don't know if you guys have seen NES games, they're chonky. Story 21. We have a nest in our kids' room and living slash dining. You can see partially into the kitchen from the living room cam, but not much. About the second week into using a new sitter, we catch her talking tons of crap about my wife and how she coddles our 18-month-old son. Bragged about how she was going to quit at the end of the day because she hates working for us and doesn't like our son. While she's in the kitchen, she puts him in his high chair and turns on an iPad for him to watch Elmo. No screen time allowed. He asks to get down and go play after a few minutes, and she says, no. He starts to cry, and she basically yells at him, oh my god, are you serious right now? You are so damn needy. So he cries harder. About 10 minutes later, she takes him back to his room where he calms down. I get home a few minutes later and sent her on the way. Oh, you're home early. Uh, we had a rough morning, but we're feeling better now. Me. Yeah, hey, you know that camera in the living room is on all the time and I can hear everything you say and do in the kitchen, right? She kind of stuttered and I told her to get the hell out. Then me and my kid hung out all day and had a blast. The thing that got me was being mean to my son. Like, he's not even two yet. Story 22. I have cameras all over the inside and outside of my house. It started with a ring doorbell. Next came critter cams I put near my bird feeders and then cameras everywhere. I used them mostly to look for the wild bunnies in my yard and to see the owl leave its roost at night. The indoor cameras are dog cameras. My wife and I use them to view and talk to our dogs while at work. The weirdest thing I've caught my dog doing? I had made a batch of jerky and put it in a large Ziploc bag, and I placed it in the dining room table in preparation for a camping trip. My 19-pound Shih Tzu, which is large for a Tzu, was caught on video moving a dining room chair, jumping onto it, then jumping onto the table. He ate the entire bag of jerky, leaving only the bag. He did this in less than 10 minutes. Story 23. Not a nanny cam, but a vid. My sister-in-law sat the camera down thinking she had turned it off. I have over an hour of her teasing my toddler in a mean way with candy and popsicles. She started telling him that he would get some and then held it just out of reach. She then ate it in front of him making mmm mmm sounds. She was also calling him mean and weird names like turd muncher. The camera got all the audio but only some video. At the end of the video is when we got home. When I confronted her with the video, she started claiming I doctored it. I was a liar, a butthead, and hated her because she was prettier than my wife. She is not, by the way. 
That was the last time she was allowed around either of our kids unsupervised. She was the sister-in-law for 10-ish years, and is now the crazy Karen ex-sister-in-law. I can't have a presence on social media because she attacks me all the time. I am also estranged from my brother because of her. Ten years of her warped his perception of our family. He still believes some of the whacked out things she accused our dad, sister, other brother, and various other family members of. No reasoning has convinced him of the truth. Not even the thought that if the video evidence refutes some of the claims, then all can be considered suspect. I may get comments and advice of what I could do, but in the end, you can't fight crazy. And sometimes life is just not fair. The only thing I've done to make things better is ignore her. She eventually just starts attacking someone else, like an annoying yipping dog that just needs someone to annoy. As for my brother, I hope time will fix things. I also think that he might just be more like her than I think. Birds of a feather and all. Story 24. Not my kids, but my sisters. This was when my nephew was still very young, and my sister was still breastfeeding. Long story short, my sister caught the babysitter drinking her breast milk. She had her suspicions because my nephew would go through twice as much milk when the babysitter was taking care of him. My sister set up the camera and caught the guy in the act. Apparently the guy was some sort of fitness nut and had read that breast milk can be very beneficial. As weird as it sounds, my sister ended up working out a deal with the guy. She got him to drop the price of watching the kid in exchange for a bit of breast milk every now and again. Look, maybe I'm terminally online, but I can only guess that this man is not actually a fitness nut and he might be more interested in some other kind of nut, if you know what I mean. But I am completely open to being wrong, because hey, maybe he just really wants the beneficial effects of some good old breast milk? I don't know. I can't wrap my head around it. That seems weird. Story 25. We hired a dog sitter over the Thanksgiving holidays to check on the pooch, feed the cats, get the mail, etc. Edit. Definitely pointed out the various security cams to her. She asked if she could bring her sister along for company. We said, sure, no problem. The sister we found out in conversation attends a nearby hyper-conservative fundamentalist school. When the hired sitter took the dog out and the fundy sister had the house to herself, she took the opportunity to scream the F-bomb at the top of her lungs a few times. Not a lot else, just paced around the living room dropping high decibel F-bombs. Gotta find some way to vent that fundy angst. Story 26. Once, I, at the very last moment when no other babysitter was available, hired one that was sort of notorious for not being good. Not dangerous or anything like leaving the child unattended, but just the type where she would not console the child if they were crying, punish them for doing small things, that kind of thing. While away, I was very suspicious, so I continuously was glancing at the baby cam. The babysitter was playing with him, singing songs, and completely engaging him well beyond the way you would expect someone who was considered a bad babysitter to act. Essentially, what happened was the babysitter got hired by a crazy parent who didn't like her at all, so they just spread a bunch of mumbo-jumbo about her through the neighborhood. When I came home, I gave her a very large tip, and she was the one I always hired whenever I needed a babysitter. Story 27. I'm glad I stopped babysitting before cameras became a thing. A couple I sat for had adorable kids, but the dad had one room in the house devoted to a full model railroad setup. Dozens of trains, bridges, teeny villages, the works. After they went to bed and during that long, boring stretch before the parents came home, I would play with the train set. Only regret is that I couldn't toot the horns because the kids would have busted me. 